Hi, good evening, everyone. Welcome to another episode of In Conversation with Bright Minds. And today we have with us Nishta. Nishta is currently doing her MSc in Economics from Terry, Terry School of Advanced Studies. So welcome to the show, Nishta. Thank you. So Thank Nishta, you tell, us, tell us about yourself, you know, um, how you started your journey in economics and how did you end up at Terry School? Okay, so... Um... I actually, uh, in my 11-12th, I did my 11-12th um, from a science stream. I had economics as a fifth subject, but I actually never thought that I'll go in economics because in my 11-12th, I was uh, preparing for all these uh, JE papers and everything. So I was very dead set on going for engineering. So actually, economics just uh, happened uh, on its own, but I'm glad it did because I uh, did my undergrad from Delhi University. University and I think um, doing my undergrad from Delhi University definitely built a really great base for me and that is actually where I uh, developed my interest in economics because in DU the kind of syllabus we have for economics is extremely comprehensive it's uh, it covers literally everything I, I mean we and it, it, it's actually great because for instance I am interested in a more multidisciplinary kind of approach in economics like environmental economics and energy economics so that interest came from DU itself because we have courses on environment. And along with that, we also had some really great courses on uh, econometric tools and game theory and stuff. So uh, everyone uh, gets a chance to find their uh, area of interest in uh, DU. So that happened with me also. And it was actually in my third year, I did this internship uh, where uh, I worked in climate finance. Before that, uh, I had I didn't have much idea also about environmental like economics as such. I mean, I was from poor economics, so I thought, okay, maybe it's something new. And uh, I just kind of experimented with that idea. And uh, I definitely, I really got very interested. So when I was looking for master's colleges in general, I was particularly looking for colleges which uh, offer some kind of a multidisciplinary approach, especially with focus on environment, resource economics, and, you know, energy economics, like I mentioned. Uh, why I particularly chose Terry because uh, so like there are many colleges who offer these courses on MS MSc environmental economics but I or MA environmental economics I wanted a course with in core economics only but with a specialization so that kind of a thing I got at Terry because in Terry uh, it's great because I mean we study core economics the standard syllabus that is followed in uh, Delhi for across all master's programs that is followed but along with that, we uh, have extra courses which are more focused towards environment resource economics and all. And uh, another reason why I joined Terry is because I'm really interested in research. I think that uh, after my master's, as of now, my plan is to apply for a doctorate program. And uh, Terry is a very research-oriented uh, kind of an institute. And we get a lot of opportunities, like the kind of assessments we have. It's about writing these policy briefs and writing term papers. And uh, so it really uh, uh, helps us to start writing and start our research journey. And we also have a compulsory thesis. So that also definitely helps us to think as a researcher. So that is, that, that's why I chose Terry. Got it. So, um, Nisha, uh, you know, a lot of times students are very... Uh, I mean, very doubtful when it comes to taking a specialized uh, course in master's. So, um, you know, do you think it puts them at an advantage or a disadvantage when you, instead of doing MSc general economics, go for, say, MSc financial economics or environmental economics? Is it an advantage when you go ahead or, or would it pull them back for a lot of, uh, you know, corporate sector jobs, say? So I feel that you should go for a specialized master's if you're very sure that this is where I see myself. Uh, because like for most students, I mean, even uh, for me, when I was an undergrad, I was not very sure of where I see myself in future working as a professional. So uh, I, I would recommend if they are uh, still kind of thinking about, uh, you know, which field to go, a general economics kind of a course would be better so that, uh, you know, you learn everything. And then after that, of course, you can specialize yourself. There are many courses also that are available. Or even more than that, I mean, if you uh, apply at certain places, if you're interested in financial uh, services, then you apply at those companies so that you can learn the work there so like uh, learn on job uh, on job kind of a thing you can do but uh, of course those who are very sure that uh, they want to go for the, say financial economics or agricultural economics then definitely i mean then a specialized course would uh, make more sense for them got it got it so um you know is terry more research oriented or does it also give you an equal opportunity when it comes to corporate jobs after doing masters 
so uh, terry uh, it was it started as a research institute now when i, I have just joined in 2022 i am in my second year now uh, the thing is now of course the placement scenario has really flourished so we have some really great companies coming in terry so of course there are many corporate opportunities that are there but uh, those who are interested in research for them uh, terry is a great place because uh, the kind of uh, resource landscape that terry provides is very it's very multi dimensional very multidisciplinary in general so uh, those who are definitely interested in um, pursuing a phd for them it's a great institute and even those who wish to work for a while before going for a phd you know they want to work in a corporate job so for them also like there are many options we get a lot of support during even summer internships so that kind of a facility is there got it so so basically you know back in our time when um, i think so it was just 2 3 years that terry came into picture um, we remember that we would we were not sure of terry just because of the placement opportunities uh, that terry had at that time but it seems that with time the placement cell has really done well at terry right yeah, yeah. got it so um so another thing is uh, what about the entrance uh, preparation you know how much of uh, you know uh, what's the difficulty level uh, for the entrance exams and uh, what happens exactly at the in interview level at terry so uh, terry uh, like when now things are a bit different because now in cuet uh, you uh, pg terry is also participating so there are two routes to enter terry one is through cuet pg or you take the traditional route so when i had applied we just had that one route so uh, my thing was that we had a kind of aptitude test first so that was a very general aptitude test and i mean for that like you know um, usually also having uh, pre preparing aptitude is always good you know because for any kind of uh, job placement opportunity so anything like aptitude is something all these math and logic ability and basic you know maths and all of that is required so that was there so the first level was actually not a uh, very difficult was it was more of like just you know kind of screening and just uh, th thinning the crowd but the interview round is very specialized because uh, you have to be very thorough with your undergrad concepts they asked uh, like in my interview panel uh, i was a little nervous before the interview because the professors at terry take took my interview so they were extreme they used to they asked very um, particular questions about economic theory so uh, luckily i had i was preparing for a, a masters entrances at other colleges also so i was in touch with uh, all of that so uh, i just got in but the yeah, other interview round is definitely something that requires a good amount of preparation and effort and i think uh, a good revision of undergrad concepts uh, all of them uh, especially econometrics would uh, really help uh, to get a place in terry okay got it and um, what about uh, the ratio i mean uh, how many students from outside delhi usually come in delhi uh, how is the hostel life or is it more more or less people from delhi who apply there so uh, terry has i think it's more or less very similar the ratio there are good number of students who are coming from delhi uh, there are also many students who are coming uh, from other states and uh, so um there is a girls hostel that is available on campus there is no boys hostel uh, the girls hostel um, is pretty great i mean so I've, as far as i've heard that uh, uh, they have good accommodations and all of that they have uh, some extra space also for uh, you know uh, recreational activities and there's a outside and an indoor and outdoor gymnasium and all of those facilities are there and other than that uh, since it is located in vasantpur which is very near to a very residential area so there are many other pg places also so like a lot of my classmates who don't opt to stay in the hostel they get these pgs or they rent out flats in vasantpur and they split the rent and all of that so that kind of a facility is there so uh, location wise terry is great of course and um, other than that hostel amenities are also there uh, it's a, it has a very student friendly environment actually uh, we uh, like uh the mentor mentorship kind of a thing that we get in terry it's, it's really unique so any kind of issue be it you know uh, in terms of academics or even some other we can always discuss it so it it has a very uh, student friendly campus no doubt got it and how about the faculty there i mean how is the faculty and um, any any good names that we have on the list who have uh, you know gone ahead and who have been teaching in other institutes also 
Yeah, so uh, our HOD, Dr. Suvanya Das, uh, she used to teach at Madras School of Economics before this. Mm-hmm. And uh, the re- other faculty also, they're, they're really great. They're really, really, like, they're really good in their work. And to be honest, I think a lot of us, when we see them teach and we, when we see the research that they've done, it's really inspiring for us because uh, one thing I especially learned from our professors is that they don't stop learning. Like, I've seen a lot of my professors attend workshops, some workshops which has a specialized person coming from some where maybe on some software like recently we had this on net logo so a few of our professors were also attending so uh, that kind of enthusiasm that they have that you know they still wish to learn and grow that kind that really helps us also to you know get inspired and uh, learn and grow in the process so from that way we get uh, the, the really great and wow. of course they really help us with our concepts also so uh, from uh, like an academic perspective also we get a lot of help from them hmm. okay so, you know, one more question, Nishtha, that a lot, a lot of students have is, uh, so there are m- many students who wish to pursue masters in economics, but they're not very good at maths. So how comprehensive is the course when it comes to uh, quantitative applications or mathematical applications? And uh, would a student be able to survive, uh, Terry, if they're not too good at maths? So, um, maths, unfortunately, it is uh, th- the thing about economics, we can't escape maths. And actually, most in my case, also, uh, we've always uh, been very afraid of maths and the kind of questions we used to get in mathematical methods and all of that. But uh, of course, uh, there is a good amount of maths that is involved. And that's because the course structure in Terry is in align with the other institutes like IFT, JNU, DSE. All of them have a very uh, similar course structure so that a uh, basic kind of a course uh, in the first year of master's in it is required. So uh, one thing I was really afraid of was real analysis. I was extremely scared of it. But uh, I mean, I, I it was... I did manage it uh, and I think why I managed it is because uh, we used to get these extra tutorial classes where we could approach our professors and so the student uh, teacher ratio is also kind of great because you can approach them one on one, you can uh, email them for extra time and then if you're lagging behind on any concept so uh, they definitely help. Other than that, our seniors were quite nice to us so we used to get a lot of question papers and all of that just to get an idea of what kind of questions to prepare for. I would just recommend uh, my, the juniors who are watching here that, you know, my, I know maths can be very terrifying, but uh, it is an integral part of economics. And it's really not that difficult because, uh, you know, like any kind of performative art, you can't perfect it in one day. You have to do a bit of it every day. So that's what I did with maths also. I did a bit of maths every day till I got it, till I at least gained that self-confidence in maths. And so, yeah, it, it's not that difficult. I mean, we can all manage maths. Got it. But you have to do it. You can't escape it. Of course, it's economics. Yeah, I mean, in economics, yeah. But uh, if you want to, uh, for students who wish to go for, for a more uh, development uh, studies or a more policy studies kind of a course, there, of course, there will be much lesser maths. Then I, I'm not sure if there will be maths. But uh, in economics, there will be maths, like regardless whether it is in Terry or any college, because it's just such an integral part. And other than that, also econometric methods and tools of economics are, of course, uh, important statistics. Those are something that we have to do. Right. Yes, of course. So, uh, you know, one last question, Nishtha, that I had. Uh, So many of my students, when they are doing, you know, when they have to go to a college, they also kind of weigh uh, the fees perspective of that college. So, so for example, JNU just charges you about 200 for the entire semester or entire year. So, so how a pocket friendly is Terry and how much should a student, uh, how much do they have to spend in the two years to, to get the degree from Terry? So, uh, the thing is, uh, Terry, uh, relative to, of course, the, uh, relative to, of course, JNU and even uh, DSE for that matter, the fees is higher in Terry. But uh, if you compare it with other colleges like Gokhale, uh, Madras School, and even um, IIFT, it's very much the same as the, their fee structure. Uh, one good thing about Terry is that there are many scholarship programs that are available, like, like a fee waiver of kind of a thing. So uh, students who uh, wish to avail it, there are many options to avail it, and they can definitely uh, reach out to the. It's available on our website also, these scholarship uh, programs that are there, or they can reach out to the admin about it, and uh, those kind of schemes are available for students. Uh, of course, that will be a very competitive merit-based kind of a thing uh, to avail those scholarships, but uh, that kind of a facility is there. Got it, got it. But otherwise, uh, you know, on an average, how much would a student end up spending on, on this education for a two-year degree? Would it be within a lakh or would it be more than that? 
So it will be more than a lakh because it is a specialized course and there is a master's thesis also which is involved. Mm -hmm. And the master's thesis, a lot of students go for field uh, surveys. So they spend like a month or so, so, so outside the campus in some other place, wherever their study is based. So, uh, you know, weighing in all those factors of a thesis and uh, the specialization in the course, the fee structure is more than a lot, definitely. Got it, got it. Sure. Uh, so, uh, you know, it just hit me one last question, Nishta. So how much time do you go ahead and get for any extracurricular activity or say, uh, you know, preparing yourself for, for the future placements or, you know, going ahead and learning any additional course like maybe R, Python. So, do students get time for all of that or is it a very rigorous course with, with no time for extracurricular activities? So, uh, R and STATA we learn within the course only. We learn uh, STATA and R, I think, from the first semester itself because in econometrics, uh, along with our uh, theory classes, we have classes on R and STATA. So, I actually was not very comfortable with R after my undergraduate, but now I'm very comfortable in my last uh, internship also. I uh, used meta regression on R only and that's all because, and all of that I literally learned from Terry only. So, uh, of course, those kind of courses are there. Other than that, uh, there are many students who are uh, doing Python also in economics these days. Mm -hmm. So, those kind of courses are also there in Terry. So, yeah, those side courses which are kind of uh, related are easy to do. But uh, if I'm being very honest with you, it is a very academically rigorous course. So um, we have these uh, mid sem breaks, uh, little breaks in between uh, the classes, and we have a break after our uh, final exams are done. So at that time, we still get some time to relax and uh, you know chill in general. But other than that, uh, it is a rigorous course. So there's very much not much room for uh, co-curricular. But we have uh, a lot of uh, co-curricular. Um, facilities in the college there are many clubs that are there so like recently a bunch of juniors who just joined this year so they were asking me that oh should we go for a co-curricular like a master's program uh, will we be able to manage so i told them that see in your first year do as much co-curricular as you can second year onwards with the placement and the thesis you will not get the time but in the first year it's very important plus another thing i just wanted to add that uh, since terry uh, terry school of advanced studies is uh, basically the parent organization is uh, terry the, inst the research institute so there are many conferences that we get to attend so yeah. and so one of the flagship conferences is this world uh, uh, world sustainable development summit it happens every year terry uh, terry the institute organizes it and uh, so they allow students from terry sas to go to these conferences and actually throughout the year i mean almost every day whenever i enter college there's some seminar or the other that is happening here in the seminar hall or there is some conference or the other and all of these are actually uh, of course they're related to climate but there are other conferences also. Uh, so yeah i mean uh, those kind of you know uh, students can engage in all of those things got it got it so okay right okay so i think uh, nishtha uh, you know as far as i could uh, remind myself of the questions that students have i've tried to go ahead and ask all of those and thank you so much for your time that you could take out time from your rigorous schedule and you could you know go ahead and help the students with um, all these uh, doubts that they could have and, uh, you know, in case I still find anything from my students, I will definitely shoot that back to you. And I will I will go ahead and answer them accordingly. Uh, thank you so much for your time. And, you know, wish you a very happy Navratri and Durga Puja. Thank you. Same thing. Thank you. Okay. Bye, Nishtha. Take care. Bye.